What's up, everybody? My name is Matthew Grant, and this is Tasty Sounds. Tasty Sounds is a show where I invite my favorite singers, songwriters, musicians, and all around amazing people into my home and my home studio, and we make some crazy delicious food, we sing some crazy awesome music, and we talk about everything from life to music to business to health, you name it. This show, you're going to see the other side of the stage. You're going to see what makes us artists tick. So grab your headphones, grab your fork, and get ready for some tasty sounds. What's up, y'all? It's your guy, Matthew. I'm super, super excited that you are watching Tasty Sounds. Today, I have my friend, Isabel, she's going to be making an incredible, incredible, incredible devil's pie, I think is what she called it. But anyhow, it's a really good, it's going to be really great. Um, but she's an incredible singer, songwriter, and just all around good person. You will hear her voice. Actually, we're going to go in right now and do some music, and then we're going to come back in here and cook. But what we're making today, we're making stuffed, stuffed chicken breast. It's stuffed, it's stuffed with cheese and spinach is going to be incredible. We're also making some very great quinoa, yours truly, with some sweet potatoes cooked on the stove. And then devil's pie. It's going to be great. You don't want to miss this episode two of Tasty Sounds. Tasty Sounds. So y'all, I just told y'all about my friend, my friend, my sister, Isabel. Here she is. Wonderful, beautiful Isabel. She is an incredible singer, incredible songwriter, incredible human, and I'm just so happy she's here at my house and my studio, soon to be in the kitchen, uh, helping us, and just, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Great. It's gonna be fun. Welcome. How what? you feel? I feel great. I'm hungry, but I feel great. I'm about to get hangry, though. Okay, we need to go on and sing this song, man. So, this is one of my favorite songs you sing. It Thank is, you. Um, Honest, man. It is yeah. out on all the all, things. All Type the in things. Isabel Honest Man, you'll find it's it. It's right here, actually. Oh, Everything it's right there. It's literally right there. I didn't even see it, I'm sorry. I know, I know. So, let's go. Let's do it. I'm gonna attempt to play it. Julian, don't be mad. We're gonna give you a little taste of it. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ooh, 
kind of threw that at you. I'm sorry. She messed me all up. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you want to hear the real version of the song, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so good. I love that song. I like. I like it when you fell in love, fell in love with an honest man. I could just hear You're all. You're so the... good at harmonies. Aww. You're so good. Just coming up with stuff. Well, that must not have been the right harmony. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get in the kitchen. All and, right, I and earned start. my meal now, yeah? We're going to get in the kitchen to cook. The next song she's going to do, she's going to sing it herself. I ain't going to try. I'm just going to sit here and look. Yeah, <laughs> All right, y'all, let's do this. Tasty sounds. Chicken. Chicken. Okay, so great song. Great song. We well, I, we attempted to do honest man. That was fun. You know, if you want to hear the real thing, you gotta go hear the real thing. We're just giving you a little taste. We're giving you a little taste. A little taste. Tasty sounds. That's what I came up with. You know. What I'm up with. So we are making these chicken breasts. Woo! If you saw how big these chicken are. Listen. Lord, this, this that's is, one piece. That's one piece. I hope I can stuff. This. That was an obese chicken. I hope I can. You know, I might oh, not. Oh, you can even, definitely stop. I might not even need to see it. Cut it. Cut it off. I might just put it right there and just. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Oh my goodness, that's great. This is great. Okay, so we're gonna make this chicken up real quick. And while I do this, I'm gonna season it up. And but I'm gonna talk to my 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 my, my, my dear my dear friend. So where'd you come up with this recipe? Well, I was sitting at I was sitting down on a Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna stuff chicken. But then I don't like, I don't want to make, I don't want to make it like with cream cheese and stuff like that because a lot of people, I was like, no, I want to find some cheese that I can make. So we're going to, so I found some cheese. Borson. A creamy cheese. It's a creamy cheese. It's got garlic and fine herbs if you're from. Herbs if you're from London. No, London. London town. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, it's good. And so, yeah, that's how I came up with it. Um, so I'm going to season this up real good. What you got? Got, you got some, some salt. salt. Mm. Got some salt. Got that nice crystallized salt. The nice flaky stuff. Like kosher. Kosher. Just kosher salt. Kosher salt. Kosher. I am Matthew from Kansas City. That's a great answer. <laughs> great. Answer. All right. Um, same. <laughs> same. Same. She's Matthew from Kansas City. Same. You're no. So you're from. So tell me your story. Cause not your story. You know, read the digest version. But you're not from LA. I'm not from LA. Who's but really from LA? Who's really from LA? Cameraman. He's from LA. Down, the cameraman waved his hand. Um, I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I was actually born in New York. I was raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and then I went to college in Boston. Did you go? Did you go to Berkeley? I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Wow. So never mind. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? I was about to say something, but go ahead. You can try to talk nasty about Berkeley. No, I would never. All, all, my whole band's from Berkeley. That's true. Okay. That's true. Uh, so I did Berkeley, and mm -hmm. then I went to. New York City. Lived there for two years. What? So what was you doing in New York City? Was you doing music there? Uh, yeah, I was actually in an off-Broadway show in New York City. Oh, so I did right. that. Did you and make then, some money? Uh, I did. Made a little ching? I did make a little cha-ching. But you know, you spend it all because you live in New York and it's so expensive. So expensive. Uh, so did that and then I was mm -hmm. like, you know what? It's time to go and really pursue my own music in LA. So I moved here about five years ago and been here ever since and I will love California. Mm -hmm. I do. Fell in love with an honest man. Fell in love with an honest man but, in California. But out, out, well, not in California. Out in Boston. Yeah, so that's kind of like all the places I've bumped around. Atlanta. What were you going to say? From Atlanta, Georgia. What were you going to say? About what? Oh. About Boston? Oh, I was going to say. I was like, so what uh, What number What number am I? As, you know, you give out numbers for singers. What was my number? Do they give a number? Rank? Oh, they give out a number like seven to eight. Oh, they might have given me a number. I just don't remember. Nor did I care. <laughs> It's, um, it's, 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 you know, it's a different culture. I, I've got to be careful what I say. But it's a, I'm, just, I'm just peppering this up. <laughs> yeah, that's a pepper. I'm sorry. It's good though. Um, it's a different culture than Boston. The yeah. Boston, the Boston school, the Berkeley school of music is a different culture it of people. Is, it is. I you love it. You guys are, you guys are intelligent, man. Yeah, I mean, you learn a lot. You got to take some things. Like any situation, you got to take some things and you got to leave some things. And, mm -hmm. You know, but I had a great experience. I have, I have no complaints. I no learned complaints. a lot and uh, really happy I went. Well, I'm happy you went too because it brought you here. So it brought me here. Look at that chicken. The chicken looks so good. It smells good too. It does smell good. All right, so we're going to stuff this. We're going to, no, we're not going to stuff the chicken yet. We're not going to do that yet. What we're going to do is we're going to get our, we're going to put our sweet potatoes on. So we don't, I don't want to be waiting when it's time. I want to eat when it's time to eat. 
I think we're gonna get all the good stuff ready. So let's put the sweet potatoes on. Um, you know, there's sweet potato in here. Colors. Did the store always call these yams, but they really sweet potatoes. Are you doing the same thing? No. Yams and potatoes are different? How so? The yams are actually lighter. Like they're the color. Water. They're the whiter ones. Okay, so what are purple? Are they considered That's yams those, well, those are Those are Japanese sweet potatoes. Or Japanese yams, depending on what side of the tracks you're from. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like me either one. Uh oh. So we don't cross contamination. The way I cut my sweet potatoes up. Um, Can I give you a suggestion? Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You do know that you are supposed to cut chicken on plastic. And you're supposed to, you can cut vegetables on wood, oh, just for future. Because what happens is this, this chicken juices soak into the wood, but they won't soak into this. You know what? I heard that. Yeah. So just future. I mean, you're nothing wrong. I mean, so, actually, someone told me that. I used to do that. I used to use wood for everything, chicken and vegetables, and they're like, your ass is going to get infected. We do put this in the dishwasher, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I wash it off and then put the vegetables on. But, like, oh, oh, yeah. That makes no, sense. Yeah. That's why I got, I got two boards. I'm sure you'll survive. I've been here 34 years. 34 years? I just had a birthday. When? August. Oh, you just had a birthday? Yes. This is pre tape Oh, we are in August, <laughs> aren't we? This is pre tape <laughs> You supposed to roll with the punches. I know. Well, I got the punch after you, after you said it. I was about to give you a sign, but... Don't cut your finger off. No, right? I thought I dropped a knife, and I'm always afraid of my dog there, and I just, you know. So you just had a birthday. I just had a birthday. Yeah, you did. Just turned 34. 34, that's Ooh. a good number. Black don't crack, but it stretch. Watch yourself. Black don't crack. But it stretch. But it stretch. You see Angela Dawson? Listen. Uh, don't you be talking. She's great. She's not about don't be talking. Angela Bassett looks amazing. Oh, you're saying she looks amazing. So what do you mean by stretch? It's stretch, like I'm just saying. Like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I love to eat. Like we're about to eat this devil's oh, pie, but I'm yeah, watching yeah, myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's gonna bring devil's pie. It's not low in the calorie department, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's not low in the calorie. But it's all about quantity, friends. It's all about quantity, and that I don't is. I listen to that, but you know. That is. That is. You know. What? I've never had this worse than with garlic and herb. It's actually called gourmet cheese. Did you know that? What's it called? Gourmet cheese. Like gourmet, but they say gourmet. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that what is that, is that what they, is that what they're doing? Yeah. So, um, just to educate you, Borson is a mouth-watering recipe in a creamy yet crumbly blend of real cheese and savory herbs, presented inside a signature foil wrap. Now, that's nice. That's nice. You you just oh, pop that right open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the, we're gonna get our uh, spinach ready so we can mix it all together so we can stuff our stuff our Jones into Jones. Stuff our stuff our big obese herbs. I'm using, of course, I'm using coconut oil because it's cold pressed and it is better. Did you know coconut oil uh, is better but heated? All I needed was than, some coconut oil. Then um, what am I saying? Um, olive oil. Then olive oil. You heat olive oil up. We've been doing this for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you're, not, you're actually not supposed to bring olive oil to high temperatures. Yeah, man, I didn't know that. But actually, the best oil to heat at high temperatures is grapeseed oil. Hmm. It gets to the highest temperature for any type of frying. Question: Is it is it is it healthier than the other stuff, or is it one of those ones that like we shouldn't be eating? Uh, no, something like that unhealthy. But I mean, having a large amount of oil. Any oil, anything, yeah. Gonna be unhealthy. Let that let that warm up a little bit. So we're gonna put our we're gonna put our spinach. Ah, I'm probably using about two cuts. These are pre pre washed spinach. Spinach. Man, I I got one of those big containers of spinach once, and I was gonna make spinach for like four people. I put that dang thing in the pan. Do you know it made like that much spinach? You was like, you was ready, huh? I was mad. It's like dang, that thing compresses. It do cut. It do compress. Wish that would happen to my waistline. Girl, you look crazy. I do. I do look crazy. I feel good. I was just kidding. I was a joke. I promise. So while while this is cooking up, we're gonna make, we're doing everything at the same time. Yeah, everything. We're doing everything at the same. So while that's cooking up, we're gonna put these slits into this real quick, and then we're gonna get our quinoa started. Ooh. Mm. 
So, Isabel, how long have you been singing? Forever. Yeah, you know, I'm one of those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, it's, it, that's a, such a that's such a hard question to ask a singer, because it's like, well, how long have you been singing? And you're like, well, shoot, uh, well, I've been singing forever, but I didn't realize it was good until this age. And then, I started singing lessons when I was like seven. So and that, then, that's how deep you're making it. Mmm, open that. Yep. That's some good looking chicken. Mm-hmm. You know? We're gonna cut all that up. I'm gonna get this spinach ready here. How long you been singing? So, um, basically, I've been singing uh, in front of people for about 22 years. 22 years? I didn't know. So I didn't know. We didn't, I didn't come from a line of singers and musicians or nothing like that. So I didn't know, like my family wasn't like gunning for, oh, that's that one right there. So I would sit in the backyard and I had um, mops and brooms and I do faces on cardboard. And I would sing to the faces on the cardboard. Uh, <laughs> I always know I was gonna sing great. Yeah, yeah, it makes for a great story, guys. Great story. Hey, well, I would think you could sing it since you were two, the way you sing. And I got into, oh, appreciate that, thank you. And I, 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 got, I got a solo in the choir uh-huh. at school, and I guess I was good for a 11-year-old, 12-year-old, whatever. They gave me a solo, so I told my mom, like, mom, I got a solo. She's like, boy, you better go up there and dance with me up here. That's, that's black parents. Black parents always want to make sure their image is always right. right. That's why they don't let you go out the house without your hair comb, without. Really? Listen, grease from head to toe. Am I right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, and so that was that's what my mom would do. She uh she was like, so we there, my family's there, and I sing, and I guess it was good. Like so, I just and then I realized I could sing in the church choir, so I started singing in the church choir, and there it is. We're gonna mix this. We're gonna, we 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 just gonna do it. Don't go. That's amazing. So I'm gonna do one more, one more little, more and more one little, more load. one more load of these. One more load. Cheese and spinach. I mean, I is mean, there a better way to eat spinach though? I don't think so. Some dang cheese. Woo! You know what's making you ready for? Some dang cheese! Right. So we're gonna get this all situated up and then we'll come right back. Alright, y'all. So we done mixed up. So we done mixed up. <laughs> I didn't tell y'all. I thought it did I? No. It's beautiful. You need to you need, you need, you need stay hydrated out in right. these streets. So we, uh, we, we, I showed you how that. So we're gonna, um, Stuff. Yeah, we're gonna stuff. We got all this on the other side. No, don't worry. I'm gonna get it all. You're gonna get it all. Okay. It all. So she's gonna stuff it over here, and I'm going you want to. You gonna stuff? Yeah. Okay, I'm stuff. And what I'm going to do is, oh man, that looks so good. I'm gonna get our quinoa ready. So the way I get the quinoa ready, this is what this is what you do to the quinoa. This is how you. This how you live. This is how. This is how you. Oh, you can't see. All right, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take some um, of these funny looking um, chives here, <laughs> green onions. And what, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut the tails off like that, and the little roots off. We want the roots, we want the roots in there. Unless it's the roots. That's good. We're gonna put our uh, we're gonna put our oil in there. Coconut oil. We don't want you now with your sweet potatoes. You don't want you don't want to cook them too long. So we're gonna we're gonna finish them off. All right. So we got coconut oil in there. Let's toss. Let's toss our uh, green onions. Toothpaste. Yeah. Dante, what you what you frowning for? <laughs> there we go. So we got that. And so now we're just gonna let that roast up real good. Let that let that cook. Let that real good. Let's put some uh Now are you frying the chicken? Oh yes. Oh, oh of course you are. 
Oh, and are goodness. you putting it? Are you putting it in the oven to finish? Nope. You're not. You you think these big birds are gonna be cooked all the way in that pan? Well, that's why they they invented tops. Okay, true. True. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna get this all situated and we're gonna come right back. We're back. We got a we got a toothpicks. We get our toothpicks. I think I got a little more. I, I was, it was, I was cutting up. I don't know. I was cutting up. I was cutting up. boy was cutting up, boy. He was cutting up. I'm just gonna reach, I'm gonna reach over here. So we're gonna put our quinoa in there. I have no idea how much quinoa I have. You can make it out. But quinoa is done just like rice. So you're gonna do one part quinoa, two parts water. So that's how you do it. So I just measure whatever you measure it in, is the way you do it. So, Question for you, Isabel. What's next for you? What is what what what's what's what is on Isabel's trajectory? Don't you love that question? Because it's like I guess you know we've been locked down. We've been we've been locked down. I mean, hey, right now you know I'm focused on just trying to be healthy. <laughs> just trying to survive, but also you know musically, just trying to get ready to put out an EP and then put out a new album and honestly rest during this time to kind of get re-inspired because I think that we don't do that enough. That's real talk, real talk. So, um, so what she just did was she just closed it up so that it can amended it. cook closed up. If you just bring the whole entire pan over, yeah. we'll get this all situated. The whole, <laughs> we'll get the whole thing situated. There we go. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. You go. Mm. Oh, you don't want to hold it. Can I you just put it down? Because it's heavy. She's heavy. It's got a little weight to it. You those are what? some. Those are some thick breasts. <laughs> Big breath. You know what I'm saying? Big breath. All right. Here we go. So let's do this. So. Ooh. Oh man. You smell it. You mm. smell the sweetness of the oil, That's the coconut. Good. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm probably gonna do? Two at a time. Yeah. That's gonna be great. Those later. So your EP. Do you have a name for it yet, or is, are you are you taking your time? Taking my time. Taking your time. Taking my time because I think all good things take like time. Right. So we're gonna and put this on there so we're done. That. We'll and do now it's gonna cook. And now it's gonna cook. So, so let, now nice. we can just sit we can talk. That's true. We can talk about life. About life. And strength. <laughs> Health, life, and strength. You know what? Yeah. So the next EP will, will be out when it comes out next year. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about all the good stuff coming out, you know, but it takes time. It takes a lot. What about you? You know, I've been on a journey with, I'm trying to just put, I was first off, I had five EPs up on that. And that seemed like a very big feat, like, and I, I had the music to do it. But when you're waiting on other people, you're fortunate enough to have the producer right in the house with right, you. Right. <laughs> so you could just be like, oh, I need this done. And, it's a good thing. But uh, me, I work with so many different people, it's always difficult. So, right. but I got, uh, I got like five songs right now that are about that are just about to be released. And you know, Christmas is a great time for me because I got my Christmas EP. Yeah. And I also do my uh, 25 days of Christmas. And I have never done one with you. I know. I suck. Last Christmas you told me you were gonna call me. You never called me. And I went to the house a couple times. I know. This Maybe year. This Christmas I'll get my wish. <laughs> this, this year I got you. Um, you know, I am hungry, so, <laughs> so let's, let's not quick. let's not sing something hard, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, we let's do let's do let's do a song a, a cover. Okay. We don't like co that. We love covers. Let's do something like nice and moody. Nice like, and moody. Give me some like diamonds, Rihanna. Diamonds, Rihanna. You know Rihanna. that one? I think I do. Okay. Uh, Do you let's know? Just, let's try. Let's, let's, see, what, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Uh, nice. That's not right. But let's go. I'll work it out. That's not right. Here we go. Here we go. You're a shooting star. I see a vision of ecstasy. When you hold me, I'm alive. We're like diamonds in the sky. Shooting star, I see. No, that's not right. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Let me do it again. <laughs> uh, I thought that was great. I don't know about y'all, but I thought that was great. Because I think it starts different, right? Yeah, it started a little different. Let's try again. Okay. Uh, light in the beautiful sea. I choose to be happy. Yeah. 
When you hold me, I'm alive But like diamonds in the sky You are shooting stars, I see A vision of ecstasy yeah. When you hold me, I'm alive But like diamonds in the sky I know that we be the one right away Oh, right away That first night of earth. The energy I saw raise I saw the light inside so shine Like summer haze, yeah. I saw the light inside of your eyes. Tonight, oh, and night, we're beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I do. Why I decide to go to the top of the song? What is this? That was a version of. That was our version of Diamonds. <laughs> our okay? version of. It's what like you what, say? what you guys say about it. <laughs> so look, we're going to go back and cook some more. I'm hungry. And then, yeah, I'm, yeah, that was a version of that. <laughs> I love you. That was fun. <laughs> All right, so we are back, y'all. I told y'all we were going to get it already. This is our plate. It's good, right? Uh, we got stuffed chicken, uh, and our sweet potatoes. What I did with the sweet potatoes, because I didn't show you guys this, what I did was after I cut them up, after they boiled a little bit, then I took them off the water, I put some butter in the pan, uh, I melted the butter, put the sweet potatoes back into the pan, um, I hit it with a little salt, just a little bit of salt to give it a little, you know, savor in it. Uh, I put uh, some molasses in it, and I put a little coconut sugar, and Finish off a little nutmeg because it just reminds me of sweet potato pie. So there we go. Right. This is my quinoa. The quinoa is just yeah. I put a little feta in it on top of that so it can just melt. So let's let's. I'm going for a tea round. So this, this is what this light is about. Oh my god. That quinoa bad. <laughs> that quinoa is good. That's good. I am picky. Quinoa, that's good. Quinoa is hard to make, man. But that's really good because the flavor is bomb. I mean, you put the green onions and then you also put some feta in there, right? A little feta. Mm hmm. Okay, and salt the, feta. Try the potatoes. Mm hmm. They, you know, they can be cooked a little more for my flavor, but my taste, but. Potatoes? For me. Yeah, a little, a little. They can be cooked a little more. No, see, I don't think they're cooked perfectly. I think a little more salt. You want more salt? No, no, no. But I'm saying, but they do taste like Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. right? The nutmeg. Right, I don't sugar. use sugar. I'm gonna use brown sugar and stuff because I'm, I'm trying to be like that. I'm gonna cool. grab another fork. Mm. Mm. 
to the honest person. I said I was good. Here, take some. No, I need four. Ready? Oh, wow. That's Man, what? Man. That's a big piece of chicken. I tell you, y'all better let it cook for like an hour. It's, 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 it's a thick it's, piece it's of chicken. It's a very thick piece of chicken. But, I stuck my thermometer and it said it was done. But that is good it's, it's chicken, Matthew Grant. I don't have no food. Mm. All right, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's so good. You need to clip dessert for us. Are you ready? I'm ready for dessert. Mm. So we're gonna make dessert. We're gonna get dessert ready for y'all. And then at the dessert, in the middle of dessert, we're gonna sing some more music. And then I'm ready to see what this dessert looks like. Let's I'm super so excited about it. Let's do it. It's gonna be good. Oh man, this is so good. Tasty sound. It's the bells. It's now going to show us this. What's the cake on? Devil's pie. You know, as a good Christian man, shouldn't really be eating devil's pie, but it's cool. <laughs> you knew we were doing this weeks ago. <laughs> I knew what was happening before you got here. Yes, so you're gonna show us what you do. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna move this way, and you tell me what to do because you're you're teaching me how to make this okay, pie okay. or showing us. Okay. But I'm gonna interrupt you and be talking. So great. Just do what you do. Okay, so you can't mess this up. You can't, can't mess it up. You can't mess it up. You can make it ahead of time. Say you have friends coming over. You don't feel like cooking that day. Right. Like you can make this, put it in the freezer. You can eat it frozen. You can eat it half frozen. You can eat it unfrozen. Well, how do you eat a half frozen pie? It's a pie. How do you eat a it's half a frozen pie. pie? So it's like almost. Defrosted. Almost like defrosted. I like it in the middle. I don't like it super frozen. It's too hard. You put milk in your ice cream, don't you? I mean, isn't that ice cream? Like, do you put no additional milk in oh, your no. ice cream? Oh, no. No, no, no. Never mind. You do that? Oh, yeah, man. Okay, let's do the pie. Okay, we can't so mess the pie. It up. So the pie. Who doesn't love Oreos? I love Oreos. I like there's it. never enough Oreos in desserts. I yeah. find that like Oreo cheesecake. This, the thick, the thickness of the crust is never thick enough. It's never thick enough. That's so true. I found this recipe. It's not my recipe. I found this recipe on a show called Baking in Vermont, and it's called Devil's Pie because it is all about. It just looks like. Wait till you see the crust. It's like glass. It's and like the pudding. It's like it's just looks like oh, it's just bad. It's so good. So good. It's so, so a lot bad. of Oreos, a lot of milk, a lot of cream. A lot of cream. Not that much sugar, except for the Oreos. And the sugar yeah. that you put in. Two two tablespoons of sugar is all you're gonna That's put, all in, you put in. Okay, so what you're gonna need is gonna need Oreos, milk, heavy cream, sugar, gelatin, extra uh extra version, pure vanilla, <laughs> baking chocolate, baking chocolate, and of course you already know all of what you need is right here on this side right here. So. <laughs> All right, so let's get to making it. What what, what do you want me to do? Where, where am I at? All right, let's start over here. Okay, over here. Okay, so we're gonna turn this on real low, real low. Okay, but again, you can't mess this up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cream. Cream. We're gonna take the sugar, and we're gonna take the vanilla. We're gonna drop it in. Oh, wow, okay. So, Isabel, do you... Do you come from like a family of cooks? Oh yeah, my mama's from Spain. And Your mama from Spain. Mama from Spain. Also, oh, she throw it out. Yeah, she cooks. And ever since I was young, we have always, I've always joined her in the kitchen. It was our tradition. I come from from school. We put Oprah on. Like Oprah was still a thing. And uh, we cook. We'll still be trying to make our way back. I love Oprah. Come on, who doesn't love Oprah? It's like Beyonce. Right. Yeah, right. I love it. So I don't even measure it. Like that. That sounds good to me. That's all. That's all you need. Now, do you have a whisk? Come on, do I got a do whisk? That a whisk? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know. My, uh, my non stick my non sticks pants would be all scratched up. Right. Now I won't scratch it. So you just really wait until this boils up, right? It's gonna boil. Uh, and then while this is boiling, we're gonna take the milk. We're gonna put it in our pan. That no, we're gonna put it in a bowl. We have a big bowl. Okay. Big bowl. So we're gonna take the big bowl, we're gonna put the milk inside the bowl, milk and then we're gonna literally take the gelatin. Now I like to make two packets because this makes for a thicker, more solid pudding. Okay. Um, so you take the bowl, Okay. and you're gonna have to clean that out, make sure there's no water in there. It's gonna mess up everything. I don't want that. So you put the milk in the bowl, very simple. Pour it in the bowl. Milk in the bowl. You're gonna take the gelatin, and you're gonna sprinkle it over, almost it's 
saying. The most important thing is as you spray them over, yeah. you just want to make sure that it is even throughout. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So here's the milk, one cup of milk. No, no, yeah, this is good because normally you want like a, a flat of a can, a flat of a bowl you can get because I'm going to show you why. Is this not good? No, this is good. So you're gonna take one of these at a time. What kind of bowl did you get then? If it ain't, if it ain't. More like flatter bowls, like something like this would be good, but we're using that. Small? Not smaller, just like a more fat and less tall. This is great. Okay, so you take the gel. Now you're gonna use a little wrist action. I see you with your wrist. Do you see how it's even almost? And then it's, look at that, look at it creating like wet sand. Y'all can't see it, but Y'all can't see this, but it looks like wet sand. Let's see that, let's show them. I think it's important to know what's going to look like. Look at here, look at here. That's what wet sand looks like, guys. Yes. All right. So I like to do two because it just solidifies that it's going to be clingy. All right, so you just go like this. You can't take singers nowhere. Man. <laughs> They're done. Uh, so, that's my trusty uh, little oh. trash bowl. You know, I got the right. Really? She has a little bowl like that? She actually sells them. Oh my gosh. For a bowl for trash? A bowl for trash. Get a dang bag. <laughs> Dollar store, honey. Okay, so you've got that in there. You let it sit for a couple minutes. You so don't it's mix not crazy. It nope, you just leave it right there. Boom. Okay, now you come back here. Now, you turn this up, it should get boiling because here's what it's going to do. We're going to let it boil. And then once it's boiling, you take it off the heat. You take all your chocolate, mm -hmm. right? All your baking chocolate, and you okay. just put it in. And you let it just kind of do it as long as Yeah, just melt. And then as it melts, mm -hmm. you can even walk away for a couple minutes, let it melt a little bit, do its thing, come back stir. Walk away. And then once it's all done, right? You're done stirring it, it's all one, one thing. thing. Yeah. Oh my okay, so this is not boiling yet, so we're gonna let this boil. We're turning it up. Turn it up! Turn it up! What's this on? Uh I was ready to write. I was ready to write the song, but right now. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Okay, so it's going, it's moving. Now, this is why I think this thing is so easy because all we've done is pour things in the thing, let it boil. The, 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 pour the thing in the thing, then we pour things in that thing. Now, while while we're doing this, I think it's always important to make sure that your that your cookies are fresh because if they're not fresh and the dessert just You don't want poisonous cookies, I know, for won't. sure. We didn't, we didn't start checking if they were fresh. We didn't check if these cookies were fresh at all. Yeah. <laughs> that was all me, by the way. Wow, I just go for it. Good thing Julian's on here. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm great, real great. Would Julian yeah. say something? Well, look, I'm so annoying at home. I'm like, oh my God. And then he's like, well, if you don't want to eat bad, don't eat bad. And I'm like, but it's so good, you know? Anyways, so. I can hear her. I can hear her. I mean, it's a girl. I mean, you got this deep old voice. Mm -hmm. It's a girl. You should do it. But it's a little white boy, you know? It's a little white boy. You know? okay. So, just so you can know, just so y'all know, Julian is my music director for my music and my out there in the world. And uh, yeah, that's basically how it happened. Actually, crazy enough, while we mix it up, she's just gonna keep on stirring. I'll tell you how we met. Tell, tell the people how we met. We were doing a we we're doing a wedding gig, but no, it was a wedding. It was like Wells Fargo or something. It was a corporate event down in San Diego. Oh, okay. that's the first time. No, I think that was I the first time we that's where we sat. It was me, you, and somebody. It that. was at the uh, Corinthian. I think so. It had a lot of history. That's I didn't that. know any of that. That gig was something. a. It was something. Yeah. yeah. There was something. something. But it looked cool. It had it like all decorated. It looked like Tiki Lounge or something. It was like uh, all this. That's pretty cool. My version of Happy. But that's where I met these guys. And that was like four years ago, I think. Yeah. And it's just, it's been it's been love ever since. It's been love. And then we did a sun together. We've done a bunch of shows together. You know what we haven't done? Wrote. I'm done. I'm with, I'm, I did. No, no, no. We haven't written. Together? We have wrote together. Oh, okay. See, I thought wrote was a show. I'm like, what is she wrote? And then I understood what you're saying. Yeah. We haven't written together. Me, me and Julia, we have, we, have a, we have a single album called Heaven. I, I just, love it. Do no, I feel like I have to say, I've got a single album called no, Heaven. No, I love it. Please, <laughs> everyone knows it's in heaven because it's really, it's heavenly. So, it's heavenly. It's heavenly. okay. So here we go. We got the chocolate. Now, it's still not boiling. I don't know what's wrong with your stove. But, no, it's starting to boil, you're right. Okay, so it's starting to boil. It doesn't have to like boil, boil. It just has to be 
hot enough to melt chocolate. Up in my hot stove by myself. Okay. It's a great stove. I probably just had the same stove. <laughs> like literally the same stove. Okay, so it's boiling. Like a little bit. You can see there's like little bubbles around the side. It doesn't do a crazy. Maybe give it a little more time. Let it, let it get a little hotter. Okay. But look, see, it's boiling. Okay, great. So once it's boiled, done. Start it off. Now, we have four, uh, a one pound of baking chocolate. Now, if you yeah, do what we got to do. We got to do a culmination of everything. Okay. If you like dark chocolate, do dark chocolate. If you like honey chocolate, do it. I wouldn't do milk chocolate because then with Oreos, it's just too sweet. Dark chocolate's nice because it's like definitely sweet. Now, make sure you break up the chocolate. Woo! God! Make sure you break up the chocolate. That's okay. <laughs> Good save. Um, break up the chocolate because it'll melt faster into everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and then once the chocolate's in there, you know, you can just walk away, like I said, leave it there, um, stir it every now and then, because what the milk is going to do is going to melt the chocolate, it's going to be this beautiful spicy thing. And then this is what's going to actually go and be mixed with the gelatin milk. You mix it all together. So once you mix it all together, now while this is kind of cool, the all have work to do, you got to make the crust, okay? you got to make the crust. got to make the crust. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to let this melt. We're going to figure this out. We're going to go listen to me and Isabel sing some type of song. Let's see. We just something. have to wait and see yes. what we chose. And then uh, we're going to come back, show you how we put the crust together and all that stuff. Okay? So we'll be right back. You want to be right back? We'll be right back. <laughs> Daisy Sound. Okay. So Matthew and I love to eat, isn't that so? This is a true thing. This is why I made the show, cause I like I know artists like to eat. Yeah, we love to eat, and you know, sometimes people aren't very nice when you like to eat. Listen, so they call it junk in the trunk. Uh huh, that's right. You just see this boy's booty. It is, <laughs> it is both delicious. I ain't fooling with you, girl. It's so good. I ain't fooling with I you. I mean, he's not my man, but it's a good booty. Anyways. <laughs> So, um, I wrote the song with a good friend of mine, uh, two good friends of mine, so when I moved to LA, I have always been a curvy girl, I love to eat, and I've been told all my life, girl, you gotta lose 20 pounds if you wanna be a singer. All my life, been like, mm -hmm, you need to drop some weight, mm -hmm, you need to drop some I mean, we've all heard it, right? We've all had like judgments of ourselves. Yeah. So I wrote the song because I was like really just over it, and I was like, you know what, screw you, LA, I'm gonna do me. Mm -hmm. And if you all like it, and you can walk away. You can walk away. Unlabeled is a. Oh, I'm sorry. Please go basically ahead. the song that you about to sing. Yeah, sorry. unlabeled. I didn't want to just drop it out there, but this video, this music video, is like one of the best, well thought out things. I think it's great. Thank um, you. Please go and look at it because it is incredible. I'll put. I'll make sure I put the link in the description to this video, her music, and everything. But this song is incredible. And I think you should just go for it. Okay, ready? So this is how it goes. So we're just gonna snap. We're gonna give it. Ready? So it goes. I haven't found my best side. Yeah, you gotta keep going. It's so hard to find the right light. Yeah, yeah, we all get lost in our shadow. Mm. This part's real. You ready? I'll never be a size two. Mm -mm. But if I'm honest, I don't want to Won't right. be ashamed I'm not your kind of perfect Okay I'll never be the girl without an appetite Who doesn't love a chocolate covered late night mm. Bare feet are more comfortable Than those high heels I can't walk in <laughs> You can fix what's unbroken Don't try, don't try To cover me up, color me in no. You can fit circles in squares. Don't try, don't, don't try, try to cover no, me up, cover no, me no. in now. Like a flicker in a dark sky. If there's a light, you can hide inside your soul. You're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with being different. No. Uh -uh. There's nothing wrong with being who we are. Mm. Unlabeled. Mm. Mm -hmm. Unlabeled. We are unlabeled. <laughs> that was so great. 
<laughs> That's Hello. a song, Unlabeled. So go ahead and check out the video. Come on, Dad. Come on. I want to sing harmony on that part. Which one? Who doesn't love a chocolate cup at late night? We light up the room when we walk in. No, the color me up. Color uh, me up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't try, don't try to color me up, color me in. Like a flicker in a dark sky. If there's a light, you can't hide inside your soul. You're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with being different. Nothing wrong with being who we are. Unlabeled. Unlabeled. That's such a beautiful song. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. The message is so great. Thank you. It came out of a lot of frustration and, you know. And you know what? And it it made, we made art, so it's great. The video, though, like when you like throwing off the necklace and all that (laughs) stuff, that's so beautiful. That was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Please check this video out. Check her music out. Ah, man. Speaking of late night chocolate. I know, right? We're going to get this devil, this devil's pie, whatever we make it. We're going to go to tear this up real quick. So, uh, please follow her, get her music. She's an incredible human, incredible soul. See, like, post her, her post on Instagram and her, her stories. Or have you cry and laugh, and she's all about everything. I'm all about everything. You know. I'm like a buffet. She is a <laughs> Speaking of unlabeled. <laughs> all right, so, uh, yeah, let's go make let's this. Go make, let's make. Let's go. make this food. Here we go. All right. Tasty Oh, you don't do what I can, girl. <laughs> but it's about you today. No, really, he is amazing there. I really love your music. I hope you know that. I I love that all of my friends who are musicians and singers and songwriters, we're all each other's fans. Yeah. I think I think it's like now ain't nobody trying to hate on each other. Ain't nobody trying to be like outdo each other. Like mm-hmm. we're a community of people. Yeah. And we all and we share gigs. Like we're like, oh I can't do this. You can't yeah, for sure. Here. For well, sure. We 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 play on each other's thing. Like I have to do a Christmas thing for you, which is so that cool. was so fun. That was a lot. That was a great song. That was a lot of fun. Y'all heard his King Friday? I know, like, I don't know if that's your favorite song. It's a song that I like okay. a lot. It's if not my I was a king for a day, I would take all this hurt away and restore. I you know the words. She know the word. I know your song, God. What's my song? Go. Uh, uh. Fell in love with an honest man. Yeah. Not a penny in his pocket, but his heart in his hand. You can't sing it better than me. Ah, child. Okay. Let's make this crust, shall we? Make the crust. Okay. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna melt this butter a little bit. You're not gonna make it like bubbly. You're just gonna melt it a little bit. Melt a little bit. And then you're gonna get this butter in a bowl with all of the Oreos. So we're gonna melt the butter real quick. Alright, I got you on this now. Um, and again, like like 10 seconds because you don't want it melted. You want it like mushy. Mushy, not melted. Yeah, mushy, not melted. Okay, so we're gonna butter the inside of the pan. Perfect, that's exactly what we need. Um, we're gonna butter the inside. Can you give me a, give me a, a, a knife? Whatever you need. We show world though. Thank mm. you. So we're gonna take a little butter. We're gonna put it inside. Oh yes, it's like lard, lard. Oh man, can I use my fingers? It's your world, though. Okay. Ooh, yeah. So we're gonna put this in the pan. Make sure it's nice and buttered because you don't. When you get the when you get the piece out, you don't want the Oreo sticking to the pan. You want it to be nice in your plate to go in your mouth. Yes. Okay, so we're good here. Got this. Yeah, just make sure the whole thing. And make sure the sides. You see the sides? Make sure the sides are nice and buttered. Okay. Nice and buttered. So, we've got that done. Now, I'm gonna wash my hand. How about that napkin, so? Oh, uh, I didn't see that. Wow. It's all good. Ooh, it's like, it's like moisturizer. Let me come off. Okay, so we're done with that. Now, you're gonna take your Oreos. We didn't do this step yet, but we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take the Oreos, you can put them in a blender, you can put them in a food processor, whatever you got, just make sure they're broken up. That's all you gotta do. So we're gonna do that now. Have you ever wanted to bathe yourself in something else more than this? <laughs> than Oreos? I mean. I smell that. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. That's good. Okay, so you're literally gonna go, whoo, and then drop it all You in just there. put it in there like that. Just put it in there. What the what? Take the butter. Oh. Okay, and you just, I mean, normally it wouldn't be this melted, but you know, some people don't listen when you talk, so. Drop it in the 
I love him, so it's fine. It's gonna be fine. We're just gonna we're literally going to make Whoa. a paste. Do you have a big wooden spoon? Come on now. He's like, you didn't have no spring, you had no spring. this is great you can actually use it to form around the pan so we're literally gonna push it down right so we push it down to the side Chocolate. So there you go, right? You can put some of that on top. You want to switch it? No, I'm good. Unless you like cocoa. Huh? I feel like you like cocoa. There you go. There we go. All right, so I want you to do the whole thing together. I want you to get all three pieces in, in with your bite. All right, we're going to get the cream. We're going to get that right there. And we're going to get that on yeah, the Yeah, go to that crust. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sorry, Cody. That's my dream. That's good. Wow. Really? You're just saying it for the camera? You think that's good? Wow. It's good? I think it's good, but like, I don't know, maybe some people don't think it's good. How could this be bad, though? I mean. Oh, no, no. Mm. Mm. Listen, y'all. This is a tasty sound. Tasty sound. Sound bright like a diamond. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. I just, thank Thanks you for so having much. me. Thank this was so, so fun. I learned so much about cooking. I mean, that, honestly, this chicken was so bomb. Uh, <laughs> Mine's a little raw chicken scare. That's okay. That's okay. That was a big old thing. So good, though. That I know. That was, that, was a, that, was a, that was a superpower. Superhuman chicken. Yeah. Super. What am I trying to say? Everybody in the comments right now, y'all, don't be, don't be adding me. Mm. You can't even cook chicken. But it was good. It was good. I'll edit that part out. Mm. Well, we, we gotta go. Thank you, Venus. 
All right, so wait, one more bite. One more bite. One more bite. Well, this, this let this be my birthday cake. This will be our cheers to <laughs> Tasty's house. Cheers to Tasty's house. Cheers. Thank you so much, mm. Isabel, for coming. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all check her out, check her music out, and yeah. Um, bye. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Just bye. It's so good. Hi. Bye. <laughs>